Hi guys, today we are going to review one piece and it's called the <laughs> it's called the Volume 100 Anniversary. So uh, this Kuji right is pretty impressive. We have uh, all of the crew member including Jinbei. Uh, I have no idea why they have not released Jinbei in the previous Kuji before but uh, finally they released uh, Jinbei in this Kuji. So this is kind of like the official full crew member. Yeah. So uh, can't wait to show you guys and uh, we also have uh, Yamato which is the last prize uh, It's also something new because uh, usually they will do a variant of the existing prizes But this time they, they made it an entirely new character, a uh, new prize altogether So uh, this is like a must have instead of comparing with the, <laughs> comparing with the previous prizes Yeah. So uh, without further ado, uh, let's uh, dive in Okay, wow, so this Kuji has all the way until end price and uh, I'm going to touch a little bit more on the end price because uh, it's pretty interesting to note that uh, the files are actually um, a representation of the manga, of the volume. So it's like, uh, this is like volume 1 and this is volume 2. So you can see the volumes are here and uh, it's all the way until uh, volume 50. Yeah, so uh, there's altogether 25 uh, designs altogether. And uh, so there's two files, so it's like 1 to 50, you get what I mean? So uh, all the files are like representation of the manga itself, which is uh, very interesting. Yep. Uh, so you can see like this is volume 1, right, where he met Zoro. And uh, this is volume 2, where he met Nami. Yeah. So, here you go. Wow, volume 50. Yeah. So uh, I don't think the designs are fantastically nice. It's just uh, an interesting fact that, you know, they actually tried to implement the, f the, the, the volumes and the key features of the volumes, the key, the key scenes, and they place it on the file. So uh, if there's any favorite volumes that you all have, um, you all can just, uh, you know, grab the folder. Yeah. 
Or maybe if you are a OCD collector like me, you have to collect everything. <laughs> okay, so that's all for the end set. Moving on, we have the M here. So uh, M are towels, pretty simple and straightforward. There is uh, uh, no interesting facts, except that uh, they actually feature every single member of the Kuji. So we have like Luffy, Zoro, Sanji, Nami, uh, Robin, Usopp, uh, Chopper, Frankie, Brooke, Jinbei, and also Yamato. Is this like an indication that Yamato will join the crew? I'm not sure. But uh, everybody is speculating uh, that she, you know, she will join the crew. <laughs> so you have Luffy here, Zoro, Sanji, Nami, Robin, Uso, Chopper. Frankie Brooke Jinbei Yamato So there's all together like 11 designs, right? Yeah, 11 designs all together And there are about 60 times 20 cm So it's like the long kind of like maybe neck towel where you can like bring it to the gym And to clean yourself after your session Yep so that's all for the M price. Okay, I'm back with the L price. L price is actually plates, and uh, we have the profile of all the characters. Oh, we have Ace in this set. Okay, we have more designs. Uh, all together, there's twelve. There is uh, Luffy. There's Nami. There's Zoro, Robin, Brook, uh, Ace. We have Jinbei. We have Shanks. We have. Uh, Bonchan, we have Bonchan. Okay, we have Crocodile, we have uh, Do Flamingo, and we have Yamato. So I'm just gonna open one because there's all the, I mean, there's too many plates for me to open them all. There's all together 12 designs. Uh, it's blind, so you don't really know what you get. So, what do you think that I'll get? Ah, I get Do Flamingo! <laughs> The plate is rather small, but I think it looks pretty, uh, pretty nice. The the profile pictures of all the characters. Um, I do have friends who collect plates. It's it's really it's actually quite nice to collect a set of them. Yeah. Okay, I'm back with the K set. The uh, K set is actually a mark. Uh, for the previous Kujis that has like the full crew member kind of Kuji, right? They actually have one mark each time. So uh, I guess you can collect the marks, it's uh, pretty nice. And the mark looks like that. So for this, uh, you can see that it's One Piece Volume 100 Anniversary. Yeah. With Jinbei! Yeah. However, there is no Yamato. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cannot get too much spoilers, right? Okay, now we're going to move off to the figures already. I'm uh, very excited to show you guys how they look like. I'm going to show you the box and then the figure and then I'll just place them on the table so that you guys can see how impressive they look like all together. Okay, so uh, we'll have the J Price first. J Price is Jinbei, alright? Jinbei, uh, the box looks like that. It's purple. Uh, nothing much to talk about the box. Okay, um, and this is Jinbei. Okay, so happy that they decided to release Jinbei in this Kuji set. Uh, this is the first time, like I mentioned earlier, that they uh, included Jinbei in a full crew Kuji. Yep. And he looks pretty okay. Basically, he, he comes with just the base, the base, and you just uh just in, assemble him like that. Yep. So next up is the eye. Eye is broke. Uh, pretty small the box. Uh, in fact, all of the boxes look pretty small. Uh, they did not um. They did not make it a uh, bigger scale, I guess, because uh after all, there's all together eleven figures, 
and uh, a bit disappointed about the, the base that they included because it's just like a plain black base but uh, it's pretty common for, for Kuji la, so nothing much to complain about <laughs> And this is Brooke. Mm, so we have Brooke. His neck very long. But uh, even though the figure is small, right, you can see that they didn't really leave out much details. It is very nicely sculpted. Um, but uh, Brooke's design is pretty plain. Nothing much to talk about him. Uh, maybe maybe I talk about his scarf. Yeah, the scarf looks okay. And all the way to the pants. Yeah, so that's book for you. H is next, so H is Frankie, and uh, Frankie is pretty. Uh, it's the biggest box of them all, with the handle. The rest doesn't have the handle at all. Usually they include the handle when the box is heavy and big, one. So, yep, yeah. and we have Frankie out of the box, right? Yeah. Okay, a close-up view of Frankie. Um, he comes with this uh, detached, so you have to assemble this sword behind here. There's a hole at the back. Yeah, so, but basically that's it lah. You don't really have to assemble his arms or legs. Though he looks pretty um, stable, but he, but in fact, I think he's quite fragile eh, because like his, 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 um, his joints are, are very thin and he's quite bulky. But looking good, looking good. Let's see behind. Ah, he comes with the, the wheels. Is this like Mega Frankie? Okay, that's it for Frankie. Okay, next prize will be the G prize. G prize is Chopper. And uh, Chopper is pretty big at uh, this time around <laughs> because I think it's, this is the Kung Fu point, right? <laughs> yeah, in a samurai suit. So, yeah. And we have Chopper out of the box. So chopper up close, uh, this thing is detachable, so you have to assemble this, uh, there's a hole here, yeah, you can just push it in. And the sword is also uh, not assembled when uh, it comes in the package, so you have to assemble the sword as well. Uh, overall, uh, even though this uh, this Kuji set, uh, I must say the figures are pretty small, but uh, the, de the details, they didn't, uh, they didn't compromise the details. Uh, you can see like his chin. The, the fur on his chin and the shading, it's, uh, it looks okay. Right? I mean like, overall it's not that shabby. So, I guess this Kuji is, uh, is quite worth it to play. But, uh, it's pretty tough to like collect the whole, whole series. Uh. Yeah. F is Usopp and... We will. I, I don't really have much to talk about him because he's not really one of my favorite character. <laughs> okay, so Usopp is here. Okay, comparing to the rest that I opened so far, Usopp is actually pretty small. In fact, he doesn't seem like he's he's the same scale as the others. Maybe he's human, uh, that's why. But um, yeah. So you can see him close close-up view of the face yeah looking okay right so uh, it's on point uh, the face like he's angry and I mean his thick lips and his uh, eyelashes and his samurai clothes with his feet looking okay yeah and his weapon yeah so uh, you can see like they did not compromise the details over here as well even though Yusuf is very small um, Okay, this is really uncalled for. Sorry, let me let me focus on that. Yeah, uh, you can see there's a line over here, so uh, that's a bit uh, a downer. Yeah, 
but uh, even the back, you see the texture is, is very nice. Um, not to mention the muscles, the muscles are okay. And the, 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 wood, the wood plating of the, the samurai clothes. Yeah, actually a lot to talk about like, this figure. <laughs> Even though I don't like him, you can see that the details are okay. It's just that the arm, the, the line at the back, that's but that's all. I mean, like, can't really complain much lah because it's a price figure. Yeah. So next will be the E. E is Nico Robin, and looking good in a kimono. And she's out of the box here. Okay, here's Nico Robin and uh, she looks a bit plain huh, her face, like not much makeup on. Because usually uh, they fa their face don't look, don't look so dead. Huh? But okay, the prints on her, her, her kimono are okay. It's on point and I like her shoes. Her shoes are of a different, uh, of a nice matching color for her. Let's check out her coat. Okay, coat nicely done. Paint job okay, not too bad. Yep. Okay, that's all for Nicole Robin. Okay, next up is D. D is Nami in the orange box. Yep. So here is she. Okay, close up view of Nami. The serious face. Yeah. Okay, I, I think the girls are not well made in this series. <laughs> because I think there's something off about the face. I mean, although the details and everything are, are on point, the, the character design is very nice. But the face looks a bit dead. Eh? Should put a bit of makeup, right? Maybe a blusher or something. Yeah. Oh, let me let me try and focus on her watch. Yeah, that's the, the wayfinder. Oh, she has a nice flower on her head. Yeah. Ta da! That's Nami for you. We are down to C already, and C is C is Sanji. <laughs> okay, we have Sanji over here. He's out of the box already, and um, yeah, there you go. Okay, Sanji looking fine in his red suit and black gloves. I really like uh, how they decided to make his gloves black. Yeah, his signature secret on his mouth. And brown shoes. Okay, let's see at the back if there's anything. Okay, the jacket looks. Oh, the, the made in China is actually quite obvious, huh? At the back. Yep. Alright, that's Sanji. Okay, next up is Zoro. Zoro is B price in a green box. And we have him here. Okay, Zoro is out of the box. His chest looking fine. His muscles, his scar. Okay. His face okay. His sword. Okay, mm. yeah, I guess they have no choice but to like uh, do like a line there. Is it? They have to like make the arm as a part to be assembled on. Oh, there's two lines. So his arms are okay. That's his arms and his sword. Yep. So basically alright lah, not too bad. But 
probably not my favorite of them all. Mm. Okay, last but not least, we have a. Uh, sorry, actually, this is not the last one. The last one is actually Yamato. But yeah, we have price A here, price A in a red box, and that's Luffy. And we have Luffy over here. Yep, so this is Luffy out of the box. Why is he in this position? Uh, I guess to complement with the rest of the crew. If he's too tall, uh, maybe the way they put them together, it'll be hard to uh, hard to look nice, lah, huh? So let's see his hat. Yep, his hat is okay. Okay, last but not least, we have Yamato. Hi, Yamato is the last price for this Kuji. And um, I guess it looks uh, it looks like she's ready to join the crew. <laughs> Here is Yamato. a look at Yamato clothes. Uh, I, look, I like the face. Okay, this face is way much better than Nami and uh, Robin. Muscular female here. I like her flowy clothes, her, her clocks. Very nice. I mean, she refers herself as a man, right? So that's her hair at the back and a cup. Yeah, I think her, I like her hair. The radio on her hair is very nice. Nicely done, Bandai Spirits. So uh, this thing can be detached and you just slip it like inside and reattach the thing. Yeah. So that's uh, Yamato for you. Okay, so this is how they look like out of the box and uh, they look really impressive. I guess this is not the best way to display them. You can actually purchase like a transparent stand so that the the ones at the back can be elevated from the ground and you can see them better. Yeah. So um, if you are intending to play this Kuji, it's recommended to just get all of them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> because they will look really weird if you, you win them uh, one by one. Like, you know Luffy in his sitting position, it will very, look very weird without the rest of the crew behind him. Or uh, maybe like Uso in that, like at that ready to attack position. Yeah, okay, maybe the only price that I feel that can really buy stand alone is uh, Yamato. Yamato looks uh, okay on her own. Yeah, but the rest, I think you require the entire crew to actually make it look good. Mm. So, uh, are you guys excited about this Kuji? I am. I got to wait them uh, till they are in Singapore and I'm pretty sure they are here soon. Uh, do remember to purchase your tickets in advance uh, at play-kuji.toycoin.com.sg uh, I'll see you guys in the next unboxing video. Bye-bye!